my name is Felix, I'm the maker of the Paco Shaco game. Um, I just started my Dutch YouTube channel with uh, Game Rule Explanations. Um, this weekend I played Dirk Decker, who is our Dutch champion, uh, via Skype. And uh, now I uh, decided to uh, analyze the game. I can mainly analyze it from my perspective because uh, we did uh, talk about the game afterwards, but we didn't really have enough time to go deep into it. So I can go into uh, yeah some of the moves. Uh, probably we missed also a lot of moves and a lot of tempo which we could have played. But um, anyway, this is also a tryout. So um, let's see how you uh, find the that. And uh, analyzing of the Paco Shaco game. So it was a nice game, I think. Um, we both uh, started uh, very traditional. <laughs> then uh, I played my uh, knight to c3. Derek immediately played his queen to h4, trying to get to the f2 uh, pawn. I block him there. Derek plays a queen to uh, f4. I block with my knight. So after this, Derek plays the bishop out, trying to uh, come here uh, create a union on f2. I um, block him with my pawn to d4. Um, Derek develops his second knight, possibly to create a union here and then release his knight, his bishop and come here. I play my bishop to uh, e3 to also double up this line basically. Um, Derek develops his second knight. Uh, I decide to open up my line for the queen so I can come through here, possibly place my queen here. Um, it's difficult to defend. If he would uh, defend with uh, the bishop, I could release my queen and bring her here or here. Um, and Derek closes off this line for my queen and also developing his knight. So after this, I develop my bishop to uh, h3 uh, to get onto this line. Also uh, connect with this pawn because my queen still has a chance to get there at some point. And also possibly to put my bishop here if Derek would castle. Uh, Derek actually castles there. Um, I play my uh, Knight to d5, Derek gives a check or a shako. Um, I decide to put my queen in between. Uh, the reason is that if he would connect his uh, bishop to the queen, I would, let me show you. If Derek would play this, I, just, I thought I could play this and bring the queens together. Now, I normally wouldn't do that. But in this situation, Derek doesn't really have a place to go with the queen to. And I could definitely uh, release my queen in the next move. Derek decides to uh, play his queen to uh, e4. Later he said it uh, wasn't his best uh, move. After this move, I yeah tried to <laughs> take a chance by releasing my pawn on, D, uh, on e5 and play to e6. Obviously to have a possibility to play it forward, he would have to defend with the rook, putting it in front of the pawn. I would have chances uh, to promote my pawn or I could possibly go here. Um, and after this move, uh, Derek gives a check. Um, I decide to go to F1. After this move, uh, Derek decides to open up the line for the bishop. By playing a b6, uh, he can give a check or a shako there. Um, I decide to take over the momentum a little bit. So I give a check here. Derek goes uh, to h8. Uh, then I move my union with my knight here and give another check uh, because my this white knight uh, can release this knight, can go to the king. So this is, again is a check. Now in this situation, Derek cannot move this union away. If he would, my bishop would release my uh, knight and my knight would be placed here. And this is basically a win for me. Uh, if Derek would defend this by creating a union here, neutralizing this pawn to go to the knight and go to the king, then I still have my bishop here on h3 to release the pawn, go to the knight, go to the king. So, uh, 
this is why uh, Derek cannot play this uh, union forward. Uh, let me see. Uh, but uh, Derek decides to pin this knight, so this knight cannot uh, release the knight and go here. I play uh, my bishop, again uh, keeping pressure on the king, and uh, Derek dis defends this with releasing the pawn on uh, g6 uh, or g7, uh, g6, yeah, and go to the bishop on uh, f5. Now this bishop is pinned, I don't have any opportunity to release this or this, to then release the knight and go to the king. So I need to start activating my pieces a bit. So uh, then I play uh, a rook to d1. Uh, I want to play my queen to uh, d5, um, but I don't want my queen to get into a union by uh, this knight. Uh, so first I cover this uh, square with my uh, uh, rook. So if I then would play it and it would create a union, I could still make this chain reaction. Uh, Derek takes the opportunity to give a check on a6 with the bishop. Um, I defend this by uh, playing my pawn forward, uh, breaking up the line, and uh, Derek plays his, releases his queen via this chain reaction, moves his queen uh, to c4. Um, now obviously I cannot play it forward because the bishop still has his line and he uh, yeah, he has opportunity to release the queen after this. Um, I decide to move my king to g2. Uh, Derek gives a check here. And I move my king to h3. So after my king to h3, Derek plays the queen combination uh, to d5. Uh, he wants to prevent my queen from going to this field. He doesn't really have any activity going on, so uh, it's a good move. I decide to play my queen to d3 to create this chain reaction again, keep the pressure on. I think in this uh, situation it would have been probably better to put my bishop here and uh, yeah, possibly in the next move move my bishop here and get my queen into the situation, uh, into the game. Uh, but I decide to, to play my queen to d3. Uh, Derek uh, uh, breaks this line, the chain, and I release my bishop to place it here to again keep the pressure on the king. Derek moves the king to h7, and I create a union here with the knight on h4. Uh, with the idea to bring in my queen via this uh, way. Uh, Derek plays his queen uh, pawn combination to h5 uh, and then I do put my queen here to get into the game over here and by this I actually do give a check. I could for example here and there's a loop here of the two knights release my queen and go to the king. Uh, Derek sees this obviously and uh, plays this combination in between, the queen, queen combination, uh, with the idea to release the queen and uh, gives a check here. Uh, I decide to defend by moving this uh, combination away. Uh, so after this move, uh, Derek plays his uh, bishop in at e2, uh, probably to get it into the game. Um, I move my king to g2, uh, having a escape route here. Uh, Derek plays his queen combination to g4, possibly to release it and also give a check here. Uh, I move this uh, union away and with this move it's not only a defending move but at the same time I create a chain reaction so I give Derek check. Now, Derek doesn't see this uh, and he decides to uh, release the queen and also give a check to me. Though in this situation I already have a check via chain reaction and I can win the game. I'll show you the sequence, the combination. Uh, I release my pawn, 
The pawn releases the other pawn on h5, goes to the knight, knight goes to the other knight, this knight comes back, so this is a loop, and this uh, pawn unites with the king. So uh, white wins uh, the game. End of the game, white wins. And, uh, well, I think it was a very nice game. I think we missed a lot of opportunities, of course, during this game. Uh, we're just, uh, yeah, uh, starting, of course, uh, uh, going to the depth of the game.